of major international school. The pupils from the higher primary and the secondary section of the school will be visiting uh, the University of Benin on an excursion. So we'll be visiting uh, the Faculty of Law, the Faculty of Agriculture. We'll also be visiting the Health Centre to see how medicine has been practiced. Also, we'll go to the sports complex where the children will be allowed to have some fun. So agriculture will provide you food, good food. Agriculture will provide you shelter. You are living in a good house, not so. It's a product of agriculture. The difference between the nursery and the barator is that the barator was like a nursery initially, but it's a place of project work. And from time to time, we leave some of the plants to grow. And when it's now crowded, the place is now abandoned because we can no longer raise plants in that place. In this place, we are concerned with the culture of fish. Where the fish live? On trees? No! Water! What are we? Yes. As I would say, fish are aquatic organisms. Yes. Okay? So, we show you some of our ponds. Fish are reared in ponds. The things we use to rear fish are called ponds. The young one of fish is known as a big leg. Why the one of our fish is chicks? We don't have to get now, but we have growers, we have beans, we have boas, and we have sows. This one, they belong to the ruminants. They neither monogastry or ruminants. So they have the two natures. That's why they, they call them pseudo ruminants. They chew cord. But they have only one compartment stomach. Yeah, so apart from the meat, can we also get any economic benefit from the Yes. Yeah. This tiny part of the okay. okay. we use it in the pharmaceutical industry, they jolly now. We don't even need it. Okay. So slime, the meat, what are the shell? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Apart from that, this shell right, gives a lot of calcium. Huh? And whenever when it's grinded, when it's grinded, it can provide to any livestock a very high proportionate percentage of calcium. I'm Mr. John Osei, and this is home for Menja International School. We are here together with the children on excursion to the Health Centre, University of the New City. Please join us as we have a cruise today. What are the basic requirements for studying medicine? The basic requirement for to enable you studying medicine is a credit pass in mathematics. Please know that a credit pass in mathematics, English language. Physics, chemistry, and biology. And if it goes in the higher classes, you know that. First of all, in nursing units, if you want to be a nurse, you want to be a nurse, it's a unique profession. That is a team, it's a teamwork. All of us that we are here, we are working together. One unit cannot work without the other one. We work as a team. You have doctors, you have nurses, you have pharmacy, lab scientists, you have other people, radiologists. We are all working as a team. We work hand to hand. Without this one, this one cannot do it well. Without this, that's why we said we work as a team. Without a lab scientist, the medical team is not complete. So, like I said, it's a five years course. When you finish it, you go for your one year internship. After your one year internship, you go for your youth service. Then after that, you are given a license to practice as a medical laboratory scientist. We are um, from Menja International School 
Okay, I do the party, the faculty of law about the law career in preparation for their forthcoming career day program. Thank you very much. Current dean of the faculty of law is Professor Mrs. Violet Aibokaibo. The faculty is administratively organized into four departments. The facilitator just mentioned one, private and property law. Then there is business law. Then there is jurisprudence and international law. Then finally, we have public law. This is called the moot court. Learn that today. In faculties of law, it's M O O T. Moot court. What we have here are moot and mock trial. Mock trial. This is what you are seeing is the electronic library. The electronic library. Major International School, once again, at the Indoor Sports Complex, the University of Benin.